Hey, how's it going? I'm Chris with PearsonCopy.com, and I'm here to help your brand make more sales with email. Um, as a part of my 100 emails in 100 days breakdown challenge, I'm breaking out an email from the brand, The Elk Collective. Uh, I found this brand in my Facebook uh, feed. It was an ad um, promoting their course, uh, their training courses, their education courses uh, for hunting elk. So this is something that caught my attention. Um, growing up as a kid, my dad was a hunter. He taught me how to do a lot of that stuff. Um, and um, it just brought back a lot of nostalgia, right? Of just of being out in the woods with my dad, being out in the woods hunting, um, and then also bringing home that meat and feeding the family with it. So uh, I thought I'd dive in and break down this email, this welcome email from the Elk Collective, um, and just give some insights on what they're doing right, what I what I like about their welcome email, and then also to give some ideas on where they could go next, what they could test into, um, and how they could um, expand their welcome series. Uh, depending on what I get from them over the next couple of days or weeks even. So with that being said, um, this is a welcome email. So this is the first one that um, that I've gotten so far from them after opting in. Uh, they do have a double opt-in, which is great. I always encourage double opt-in um, unless somebody's buying something as uh, through your checkout cart and they check that box saying, hey, yeah, I want newsletters. That's, that's their double opt-in in that situation. In this situation, um, I just signed up directly for their newsletter um, in the footer of their website. So if you're into hunting, if you're into elk hunting, um, then I would check out their, their brands. I would check out their education courses so far from what I've seen on their sites and just from social, um, they look like a great brand. Um, and I'm excited to break this down, to break down this email for them. So let me go ahead and dive in here. Uh, the first piece, the subject line, um, thanks for signing up. So that's a pretty standard subject line. I think that, um, there's different things we could test here with the subject line. So with the elk, with the elk collective and this very, very specific niche, um, education piece. Um, I would test something like a welcome to the L Collective um, subject line. I would um, maybe relate to uh, the actual bugling of the elk and just say bugling all the way home or something like that. Make some kind of joke. This obviously is just a riff off of what I thought of off the top of my head, but you can go with something about elk um, and make that the subject line so people are like, oh, that's what I'm looking for. Um, and it kind of plays that, that, that meta game of like, oh, I'm looking for elk. I found one in my inbox. Um, let's click on that and see what's going on. So there could be a whole story there that you could you could run this welcome series through is like the idea of actually prepping, um, going out, finding, um, and, and going through the process of hunting. Make that your welcome series and telling those stories. Um, so yeah, a, a subject line to test against there. Um, the idea of like you're in the you're in the collective, you're in the group, whatever the group is. That is your newsletter. Um, if you have a name for that, I would say you're in X group. Um, and just let people know that you're a part of something now. You're not just trying for another email newsletter. You're a part of a group that is actually committed to this type of lifestyle and way of living and way of doing things. Um, and then the final one is just the name, Dale Collective. Um, so yeah, there's different things we can test. Um, in Clavia, you should be able to set up multiple A-B tests um, in one email or in multiple emails and put these subject lines in and just test to see which one gets the highest open rates. Um, typically, when people sign up for a newsletter, the first email, the first couple of emails are the highest open because they expect it to be coming. After that, their attention starts to drop off and we want to we want to use subject lines in the relationship building process in the copy in the emails to actually keep them coming back. So this is something that testing these subject lines on the first couple of welcome emails to see which one actually clicks. Um, set a strategy that's like, hey, we're going to um, go with uh, welcoming people to the club, welcoming them into the group, into the know. Um, we're going to use that strategy as how we're going to do the welcome series. You could do a strategy of we're basically going to tell stories from each of our collective um, their first time hunting and use that as a story, a story connector, an emotional story connector to bring people in and keep them coming back for more. Um, there's different ways you can approach a welcome series, right? Um, and with the Elk Collective, they're selling an education course with over, I think they said over 130, 140 videos uh, going through the process of prepping for going out hunting and bringing back and processing what they brought back from the hunt. So there's a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of content that you can pull from and say, hey, here's some ideas, here's little pieces, little glimpses of things. You can, you can bring people into that welcome series um, really quickly and get them to buy even. So um, something that I, I mentioned here down here at the bottom too is that the, the first email here is a welcome email saying, hey, thanks for signing up. But something that they don't use here is um, some kind of reason to go check out the course. So you can sell on every single email that you send. It just depends how you do it. So this first one, thanks for signing up. Um, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself here, but um, I'll go ahead and dive down here to the bottom here where I said what's missing, what's here. So something, uh, where's it at? Oh, here we go. 
So in this copy section, this is where you can add the sale. I'll go back to the top here in a second. But what they've got here is a glad you're here. So it's like, hey, welcome. Thanks for being here. We're, we're excited you're here. We're excited to share some information with you. Um, and they actually, they, they actually, a collective actually shares a little bit about what to expect. Like we've got some long exciting content as well as updates on new products, promotions, and much more. So that's a very, very gentle touch on like, hey, this is what you could expect. They could go more into that and say, hey, we have education courses. We have products. We have um, a content, our, 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 our blog, our YouTube channel, um, and they can just go into like, what can you expect from us as a group, as a community? And also to go into the idea of like, welcome to the collective, you're a part of it now. Here's what to expect. Here's where to find information. Here's where to go to consume information based on what you want to do. Um, some people like video, some people like audio, some people like both, some people like reading. Um, that's why email, podcast, and YouTube, those three are huge when it comes to people being in the community, right? So that's what they've got going on here. I think what they're missing here in this specific email, not the welcome series in general, but this specific email is why the readers should stick around. So that kind of goes into what I just said. It's like, here's what to expect. And with that, here's why you should stick around to consume that content and watch it as we post. So giving people a reason to stick around, um, telling them what that is, gives them a, give, makes it really easy for them to attach to that and say, hey, um, this is why I'm sticking around. Or if they don't have an idea of why they should stick around yet, you give them reason to say, oh yeah, that makes sense, I should do that. Um, doing that mental work for them and putting it out in front of them helps them actually open more emails over, it gives you more room to build a relationship with them before they drop off and stop opening emails or stop watching your videos on YouTube or stop listening to your podcasts on whatever platform you're, you're publishing that to, right? So why they should stick around or why, why it matters for them to consume your content or consume your, your marketing, um, that matters a ton. So uh, the next piece here, uh, ask the reader to reply and share the number one struggle with Alcanting. So uh, with the Collective being an uh, education course, a teaching platform or a teaching channel, right? Um, asking people what they're struggling with is going to be huge because now once you start collecting those those feed those feedbacks or those those, those responses or replies, um, you can start directing people to say, hey, in module six of this course in this video at this timestamp, we actually talk about this. Um, if you want, it's only $10 a month to start uh, the membership or whatever the fee is. And you can go in and go specifically to that video and get this question answered. Feel free to go check it out. Um, or you can just answer the question and say, hey, here's here's the, the answer to that struggle. Here's what we found works. And we also go into more depth. We also go into a lot more depth in this module, in this video, in this course. Um, go check that out if you want to join. It's 10 bucks a month super cheap and it gets you inside to 140 different videos as well as your questions and things come up. Um, so asking them for asking your, your, your readers and your subscribers to respond, give you that information. It's, it's first party data, right? Like they tell you what they're struggling with and you respond. There's a reciprocation there. There's a relationship building, right? Also too, it, it allows you to, to uh, enter the set, your course into the conversation because it makes sense now. It's like, Hey, we answered your question where we're, we're, this is how we solve the struggle. And now we get to talk about our course because we've actually helped you and we can ask you to say, Hey, go check this out. There's reciprocation. Right. Um, and then finally too, the more that your readers trust you with their questions and their struggles and their barriers to actually going elk hunting and what's, what's keeping them from actually going out and, and, and um, uh, achieving that goal of bringing back an elk. Um, they start to trust you more than any other brand because you're responding and replying to them. Right. It's that relationship piece. Uh, the next thing, is ask your reader to whitelist or add their email to their contacts. So this is huge. Um, one replying helps email service providers like Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo, etc., cetera, um, Apple Mail or iCloud Mail, whatever it is. Um, it helps them, those, those providers see that your subscribers actually want emails from you because they're replying. So email is not a marketing channel, it's a communication channel. And the more we make your marketing messages turn into communication assets, as opposed to marketing assets, even though we're trying to sell stuff, the more those providers are going to push your emails into the inbox instead of the promo tab or even the spam folder. So the more it looks like a human to human connection, a human to human uh, uh, interaction and communication, the more those providers are going to support you being in the inbox, as opposed to primary tab, spam folder, or even, um, even being filed as a spam complaint or being blacklisted, right? So you, um, for for most brands, they're a long way from that blacklisted thing, they're a long way from the spam folder, um, but it is not, uh, it, it can happen quick. You can go to those things quick and making your emails, one, ask for replies, and two, asking people to add them to their contact their contact list and whitelist you as, as a, somebody they want in their inbox. It does a ton of heavy lifting initially when people start, when they join your list into your um in your welcome series and they join your list and they're, they're starting to interact with you, right? So again, the more human you can make your communication through email, the better it's going to be for you long-term. Um, also people, I'm a customer um, and I buy stuff through email all the time. And the more a brand feels like, like a, a actual 
relationship and a, more of a communication piece, uh, the more I'm going to stick around and more likely to open their emails and actually consider reading their sales messages as opposed to just saying, oh, that's another brand sending me a, a digital billboard. I'm not ready to buy right now, so I'm not even going to look. I'm not going to open it because um, I don't need a coupon. I'm not buying anything. So if the only time you speak to your customers is when they're in a buy, like a buying uh, phase, when they're ready to buy something, uh, you're only going to be speaking about 5, 10, maybe if you're lucky, 15% of your list. The other, you know, uh, 90 or anywhere from 80 to 90% of your list, they're looking for content. They're looking for a relationship. They're looking for somebody to trust with their questions and their struggles. So the more human you can make it, the better. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the bottom half. Let's go back up to the top here and work through this. So, uh, first thing that logo, I think this is a great logo. It's a gorgeous logo. I really like it. Um, it's not too big and intrusive when you're scrolling down. It isn't, it, it, you see it and you're like, yep, I'll collect it. That's exactly where I'm at. And it doesn't pull you away from actually going to the content and the copy. So I think this is great. Um, the next piece, the graphic here, I think is great. It's simple. It's clean. It's to the point. Um, the idea that it's always elk season, um, uh, the, the philosophy and the belief behind that it's there in this image and, you know, it's always elk season. And the goal here is to get you an elk, right? So that, that just, it resonates really deeply with me. It, it, it makes me feel nostalgic. Like I said, in the beginning of the video, growing up as a kid, like this is what my dad did growing up. This is what he, this is what he had me do too. Um, and it just, it really connects with me on an emotional level. So um, let's see here. So next piece, thanks for signing up. So this is a re repeat of the subject line. And, and typically this first headline is important because you're basically letting people know they're in the right place um, or you're thanking them for joining you in the community. So I think they're doing good here. Um, the collective is doing, doing good here with the thanks for signing up. They're just repeating the message from the subject line. That's on point. Um, if you're testing, if you're testing any of these subject lines, um, potentially repeating them here at the headline would be fine or maybe finding a different um, a different headline for the content you're actually sharing. Um, so maybe the headline is um, bugling or something, or you're in the Elk Collective, um, uh, thanks for joining or something is the subject line. Here, you're gonna say, this is what to expect, or uh, we're glad you're here. Something just to let people know, you're glad you're here, you're in the right spot, this is what to expect. Um, you can you can mess with those combos um, as you test things. And then let's see, it's already kind of went over this, what, what they've got, what they're missing. So I'll skip that. Um, I had some ideas here of what to do with the welcome series. So I haven't got, this is the first email I've gotten of Elk Collective's welcome series, but I wanted to throw in some ideas of like, after consuming some content on the YouTube channel, um, on their website, and then um, I just kind of scanned their socials a little bit. Here's some ideas you can do with your welcome series to bring, once people are in signing up for your newsletter or they become customers and join your, your newsletter, um, here's some ideas you could actually run with your welcome series. Like I said, I, I haven't seen the rest of their series if they have one, but here's what I would do. Um, the about page video that they have on their website, the Elk Collective has on their website. Go check it out if you're if you're in this elk, if you're in elk hunting and you want to do this, go check it out. Um, that video is phenomenally done. The story they tell, the philosophy, the belief, um, essentially the mission, the values behind the brand, it's there. And I I my, I got the I got chills when I was watching it because I was like, this is rad. Like I want to be a part of this. Um, and it speaks to that 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 primal nature to go out and bring home bring home uh, an elk, right? So I watched the video, that video needs to be a part of the welcome series. Um, if it's not the first video on the, if it's not the first, if it's, if it's not the first email of the welcome series, it needs to be at least the second. There is a emotional connection there that I think is going to drive a lot of it, a lot of, um, it's gonna give you a lot of rope to actually build a relationship with somebody once they have that emotional like feeling connected to this brand. Um, once I watched that video, I felt the elk collective like, oh yeah, I know exactly what that brand is. I know exactly how to feel about it. It's brilliant. So I think that needs to be a part of the welcome series. And that can be as simply as setting an email saying, hey, um, this is what we're about and this is why we exist. Here's a video sharing that. Go go click on it and watch it. And it takes me either to the YouTube channel or to your about page and has them watch that video. That's all it has to be. And that emotional connection will happen and people will see your name in their inbox and they'll say, hey, I got to open this because this is exactly what I'm about. This is what I want to do with my life. This is the lifestyle I want to live. This is why, I mean, September is coming, right? Like I want to be a part of that. Um, so yeah, I would include that. So something else too on the about page, the stories behind each of the collective that, that started this. Um, so um, I think there's five, uh, four or five um, people that are part of the collective. I would get their stories of their origin story of like their first elk or their first time hunting or their first emotionally driven memory of being a hunter when it comes to elk or just in general and get that story on the paper. Um, you could do a podcast, uh, like an audio video type recording and say, Hey, what's your story? Tell us your story and why you hunt, um, and get that on video and then transcribe that into text and put that as an email in the welcome series and say, Hey, we know you have a story. Here's ours. F feel free to reply and tell us your story as well. We're, we're looking to connect with the collective and just like 
build this community around our brand. Um, here's our story from so-and-so. Here's our story from so-and-so and just share those stories throughout your welcome series. They can be one after the other every couple of days, or they can be um, dispersed out. So you can do like a story, um, a sales email in the sense of like what you're teaching, uh, like a, like a Q and a email, and then use the course as like, Hey, if you want the full answer in depth answer, go check out our course. And then you can do like a success story as somebody who used the course to actually get their first elk or go hunting and actually improve something, um, uh, like a review or a case study type deal. And then do another story from one of the collective. And like, you can layer those things in and you can make this, this welcome series as long as you want, just keep people in that emotional state of like, um, emotion, logic, and um uh, actual seeing the future like future pacing and to keep people rolling through that welcome series um and it, it would actually it, it's going to build a deep deep connection a deep emotional relationship with your with your readers and they're going to stick around for a long time even if they don't buy until you know a year from now two years from now three years from now that emotional connection is going to keep them around so that you have an opportunity to sell to them so that's something i would do is like the stories behind this collective it looks like there's a ton there and the nostalgia i felt engaging and encountering this brand is probably there with each of those people in the collective, the nostalgia, the, 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 the first moment hunting, um, the, the first time they brought home an elk, um, stories that they have while out hunting. I bet there's some hilarious stories that people would tell from the collective that like you could tell and share and people like, Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. I had this, that's exactly how it is. Um, and it makes people feel like they're part of the community. So that's something I would do here with the stories. Um, let's see here. Yeah, so I kind of touched on this, but ongoing newsletters. So once you get out of the welcome series and you have your weekly, daily, weekly newsletters, whatever it may be, um, I would suggest once a week. And and here are some ideas, here are some emails I would suggest uh, they'll collect of use. So um, so let's hear stories. So stories from actually hunting, stories from behind the scenes, stories from the business, stories from actually uh, pre prepping, um, uh, bow shooting practices, um, building the business type stuff, just keeping people up to date on what's going on with the course, uh, anything like that. The stories behind that, that's going to keep people engaged because it's not just about elk hunting. It's about the, the process, the journey, right? Just as much as you're prepping for September, your business and everything you're doing up to that point, there's tons of opportunities there to connect with people because they're doing the same thing. You're, you're encouraging them to follow along and be a part of the community to do that. So sharing those behind the scenes, sharing what's going on, sharing the struggles, sharing the failures and successes, it's going to make people go, oh, yep, this is a real brand. I want to be a part of this. This is the lifestyle I want. This is the identity I'm building for myself and I want to be a part of to validate myself. That's what your brand can do for people. They can validate their identity. I and mean, that's like the deepest, that's the deepest, one of the deepest things you can do for a person as a brand is validate their identity and make sure that they are feeling like this is real. This is life. This is what I'm doing. So those stories about the brand and what's going on is going to help a ton. Um, also, Q&A emails, behind the scene emails. Um, specific skill set stuff, or maybe you have a run up to September. Maybe it was a six month run up to September where this is when we start hunting. There's the six months prior. Here's what you're doing each month, and that's your theme for each month. And that's how you run up to September, the six months prior. And then the six months after September, uh, five or six months, you can do like post. So like if you did if you did bring home an elk, what do you do with the meat? How do you prep it? How do you save it? How do you feed it? Um, and all the things you do with your family with the meals and like uh, just uh, being grateful for the opportunity to go hunt elk. Like there the whole idea of centering this this newsletter around september and september is coming there's so much opportunity to tell stories about being personal and professional and business and you know, like there's a ton of opportunity so there's some ideas there i hope that helps um and then yeah we have your socials down here at the bottom which are fine and then the clavio button so last thing i'll say about this is as soon as you can get this clavio um, icon removed i believe it's because um, it's part of a free account uh, so Clavio puts that in there as their advertising because um, you're using a free account. As soon as you get to a paid one, I would do it just so your readers don't conf get confused that um, with this Clavio thing because people, a lot of people don't know what Clavio is. Um, they don't know that it's an e-com email marketing platform software. So they click on that and they go, it's going to be confused. Now they're going to have this confusion with like L Collective versus Clavio and they're not really sure what to think about it. So as soon as you can um, get this thing removed, I would uh, just to remove that confusion or possibility of confusion. So overall, I think the Owl Collective is moving in the right direction. I really like their email here. Um, I think that the the three big insights I would take away is test your subject lines in your welcome series. They're going to be the most open because people are expecting them. Also, too, you can increase those open rates based on the subject lines you test. And whichever one wins, go with that idea or that strategy moving forward. Um, the second thing, the idea of nostalgia, the emotion of nostalgia, and also the idea of the hunt, like that is present in their branding. So if they want to keep these the, the branded graphics great, if not, they can do that with words and copy. So it's just they do that. Um, maybe test that a little. And then the final thing is expanding their copy here of like, um, like I said here, uh, what to expect, why the reader stick around, ask reader to reply and share, and uh, their, their, their number one struggle, like share that. And then also whitelist and email and just add more to 
uh, the conversation, like invite people to, to reply and, and join the conversation with the collective and like, Hey, this is community, this is what we're doing. This is how we operate. If you're a part of this, great. If not, no worries, go over there, um, reply to emails and let's talk. So those are the three big insights I take away. If L, if the L collective does this, I think the welcome series is one going to get better. And two, um, their engagement with new subscribers is going to go up, which means they're potentially going to be able to sell more courses. And it's going to be part of the conversation. It's going to be natural, a natural segue from, Hey, what's your struggle to here's, Here's the answer. Here's how we solve that. But also, if you want to go more in depth and learn way more about this, it's only 10 bucks a month. Go check out our course. And um, selling for this brand would actually be pretty straightforward and pretty natural because the conversation leans into that. Um, it leans into teaching. Um, it it kind of reminds me of, you know, again, going back to it of being a kid of my dad teaching me what to do after he brought home an elk or a deer or something. It's like you just lean into it. It's like, hey, what do I do now that I have this elk? Or what do I do now that I've got the gear? What do I do now that um, I've decided that I want to do this? Each question begs an answer that is teaching. It's, it's education. So the Elk Collective has a huge opportunity to teach with education um, and also use that to use education to sell into whatever they're offering. So um, I hope this helps. Um, go check out my other videos on my YouTube channel, 100 Emails in 100 Days Breakdown Challenge I'm doing right now. Um, this is video 76, I believe. So go check out the other 75 or so videos. Um, there's insights in all of them. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. I hope this helped and I'll see you around.